praise God. I thank God for the grace upon this house. Above all, I thank God for allowing God to use you, Papa, of our lives. A lot has changed. I have a testimony. I will begin by talking about our home, like my own house. Uh, we had issues. We never used to sleep at night. Okay, my husband sometimes at night used to be strangled by demons. My children, the same case. And those things to do with the uh, uh, demonic attacks, heavy demonic attacks in my own house. At times I could even fear to leave the house because I'm wondering, it's like I'm the one holding them. But since I came to this ministry, that thing is completely terminated. Amen. For the last, for the last like 10 years, my husband could not retain a job. He used to get employed. He could work for two months or three months, get fired with no proper reason. At the same time, he could just leave work and not be paid. He could be just, they could just stop him from work without any reason after a month or two and not pay him. But right now, he got a job. Right now, he's three months old, Papa. And he brings his tithe. I normally bring his tithe in this place. Every month, I bring his tithe. Every month. He never used to, he never used to believe in tithing. He never used to tithe. Anytime I talked to him, I used to talk to him about tithing. We could really have an argument. But now, he gives his money to me, his tithe, and I bring it here. Wow. I thank God for that. Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. When I came to this ministry, I used to, I did not have work. And I used to beg for fare for the, for, from the people that we were cleaning with in the cleaning department. When coming, I used to ask for fare. When going back home, you know, I, I really used to struggle. I didn't have a transport to, to, to take me back home. But with time, as Papa continued praying and as, God, as I continued uh, being here as a child of this ministry, um, we had, we had uh, what, how can I put it? My mother came to my house, my brother and my sister, and we just were having a conversation. We sat down together, and, you know, we started talking. My, my mother was asking me, what is happening to you? You look like you're frustrated. There's something that is not right. My brother, you know, my brother loves me so much. So my brother told me, there's something that is not right. You have not been the way you've been. Then my mother was talking to me, and I told my mom, you know, you if you want, you can instruct this too. Because my brother is a nurse and my sister is a nurse too. He works with Somalia UN. And I told him, if you want, you can instruct them the same way when I used to work and I used to chip in money for them. You can talk to them. But then it was an argument and I told my mother, you're the one who is standing on the way, maybe. I don't know. Because why they are not chipping in something and the way when I have money I stand with them, I don't understand. So Papa kept on praying for us. I kept on coming Papa here as a child of this ministry, and I thank God. My brother, after that meeting, he told me, uh, what do you want? Just think what you want and then tell me. I told him I want uh, 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 those cleaning machines. I went to an Indian shop, even without notifying him. I just woke up one morning and I called him on WhatsApp while he's in Somalia. And I told him, today I'm going to the shop and then I will call you while I'm there, I'll tell you what I want. When I went, I took a picture of the machine I wanted, the floor scrubber, and he looked at it and then he told me, send me the till number, just like that. And I sent him the till number, he paid 62,000. The following month, I went to the same shop, I sent him a till number, he sent me, it was 60,000. He bought me the carpet cleaning machine. So I thank God for that and I give God all the glory. Wow. In 2017, I had a court case. When Papa used to call people here to come and be prayed for over court case or issues to do with court cases, I just used to come silently. I have two email addresses. There is one particular one that pertains to that case. And I never used to like to open it because it used to terrorize me. So last week, but one or last week, I got an email. It was a, a, a circle loan. One million and eighty thousand. So it was a case ongoing since 2017 and they were even threatening to come to my house to pick some things and they were saying that, that we know you live in your own house, the house you've built, 
we will have to come and do Quand what we can do. Maison, and they started following me. At one maison, point, they came to my house. And last week, but one, I got a letter from this advocate. And he said that your case has been dismissed. It's for the second or the third time they didn't turn up. So the case was dismissed. I have a lot of testimonies. I thank God. There is a, a lady who Papa prophesied to me from America. She's just a Facebook friend. I don't know her. She's called Capena Jordan. And Papa prophesied that she will send me money. Immediately, it's like the prophecy triggered it. And the money came. And I gave it all to Operation Nehemiah. Ah. Papa, the same lady wrote to me. She said, uh, there is some money I'm processing somewhere. And I, I, want to, I want you to pray for me because when it comes, I will send you something. Then yes, uh, yesterday, but one, she sent me a, a, a message on Facebook. She said, I will send you something small. Now she's like, she has kept quiet. Pray for me, Papa. It's a money flow. Money is flowing. By the end of this meeting, you shall receive a phone call of money. I say a phone call of Mention the amount. Mention the amount. Mention the amount. Mention the amount. Ah. Oh my God. Don't worry. In two days' time, you are going to receive a lot. God bless you. Come on, clap for Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus.